Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you have. Uh, today our topic is about uh, did Jesus turn water into wine? And this is a question was asked supposedly to Shabir Ali. Now Shabir Ali, I think he make questions and he answer himself. It always you will see a paper in the hand of the girl she appear with him with suppose she is his daughter and his daughter she read the question for him and the question this time that Jesus he turned people away from the temple because they were buying and selling and the other question it was about uh, did Jesus turn water into wine now with Shabir Ali as usual he answered without answering anything he said uh, properly, yeah, you know, Jesus, he did uh, many miracles, but it might be uh, prob problematic uh, for some Muslims. And here you see like uh, how Shaibir Ali always, he avoid answering, you know, by, you know, I mean saying, what is the answer? The guy he asked you, the Muslim guy supposedly, and this is a question you wrote by your hand to yourself. So he asked you, okay, uh, what happened? Do you agree with it or you don't agree with it? Uh, Shabir Ali, as usual, he did not say yes, he did not say no. It's uh, it's can be accepted for some Muslims, it can be not accepted for some Muslims. So what is the answer? Nothing. And uh, today, uh, I'm taking advantage of uh, this uh, topic here to explain what is the miracle about turning the water into wine. <clears throat> You know, many people, they, when they read the uh, uh, the Bible, speaking about Jesus turning the water into wine. They don't understand that this is not just about turning water into wine. This is way more. And you see, Shabir Ali, he, didn't, he say, uh, this is not mentioned in the Quran. But it's possible Jesus, he did a lot of miracles. So even Muslims, even with their cult teaching, they could not deny the power of Jesus, the Christ, and that's everything is possible with Jesus. Everything is possible. I mean, why you will be surprised if you hear Jesus turning water into wine? When Jesus, he turned the dead into living person. When Jesus, he turned the clay into a living bird according to the Quran. So how we can be surprised with Jesus? Jesus can surprise you always, it's not the opposite. But when you use to Jesus, you will know that this is a person who can do everything. But turning the water into wine is more than just turning water into wine. Actually, I remember when I was a kid reading this story, and always, you know, since I was a child, I like to go deep, you know, inside the story. Uh, not just, okay, Jesus, uh, his mother, she asked him to do something. And there is a wedding party. And, uh, you know, he, he like, he used his power uh, to make water into wine. This is more than this. This is way more than this. You see... According to what we know from the Bible, uh, this is the first reported miracle of Jesus. This is the first reported miracle. But obviously, it is not the first miracle. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why it's not the first miracle? What makes me believe that this is not the first miracle? Because when Mary, the mother of of Christ she asked him to do so did you ask yourself why she is asking him such a such a top I mean such a request why why the mother of Jesus she's asking Jesus for something which is miraculous unless she knew and she witnessed something about the Messiah you understand what I'm saying like why my mom should not come to me and says to me to do the same she would never do that. That would be crazy. Why your mother don't ask you to do the same? Because that's crazy. 
because she is asking for the impossible right so when Mary she asked Jesus for such a miracle obviously Mary she knew for sure that he can do miracles so she witnessed firsthand how powerful the Messiah is when the Messiah he says to her that my time did not come yet which mean my power is not for those things I'm not here to turn water into wine but yet even though it is not his time to do so he did what Mary she asked for and this is why you see the Catholic they pray asking Mary to pray for them they don't pray to Mary as God they pray asking Mary to pray for them why because Mary she said even though he says like well, this is not my time then Mary she said do as he say she was sure he will do it this is why many churches they believe that if we ask Mary Mary she will intercede for us for me I don't believe I need to ask Mary because I can ask Jesus himself you know so but this is their opinion so do as he say she was very sure that he will do and he will not reject her request but here there is more than this you see <clears throat> If we go in the Quran, and this is the ignorance of Shabir Ali. If we go in the Quran, we will find this chapter. Chapter 16, verse number 67. In this chapter, the God of the Quran claim that wine is a miracle from Allah. Alcohol hmm, is a miracle of Allah. And you see here they are saying strong drink I don't know what kind of translation this translation let us change it you see how right away things changed it doesn't say strong drink it says alcohol uh, for sure not the word alcohol is used but uh, you know that's something will make you drunk Sakaran, this is the word in Arabic uh, let us see the fun translation see so from the fruit and from the date and the grape you make alcohol will make you drunk and uh, and you from it you to make you drunk and you made a good goodly provision verily indeed this is a sign for people with wisdom this is a sign from who this is a sign from Allah which means it's a miracle from Allah so if turning grape into wine is a miracle and Allah is saying that turning a grape into mir in into wine is a miracle I mean I can do that you know what I mean do you see how silly this uh, argument here the Quran claim that when you make wine it's a miracle of Allah But where is the miracle in making wine from grape? It just is. This is just a you know like normal process. If you put the wine in a certain place in a certain uh, uh, heat, you store. I mean the the grape, the juice is going to turn into a wine, and you do not need to be a genius to do it. It can even happen without doing anything. Just to store the grape in certain, like in in a, in a warm place, is going to happen. We close we close the top of it, and that's it. So, the God of the Quran, claiming that the wine you have and the alcohol you have is a miracle from Allah. But here we have a question. In different verse in the Quran, it says that wine is from the work of the devil. From what? From the work of Shaitan. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so how in the other verse it says it's a miracle of Allah and this verse it is from the Shaitan.
do you see how silly this book is one verse saying that alcohol is a is a miracle from Allah the other verse saying it is the is the work of the devil if we go just to show you I'm not making things up that the interpretation for this verse chapter 16 verse number 67 I will go to the interpretation done by the scars of Islam this is the Sirah Jalalain this is the official government of the kingdom of Jordan this is a sign indicate his power the exalted be he for the people do you see it this is mentioned there is a sign indicate his power so transforming a grape into wine is an indication of the power of Allah but hold on how this verse saying here this is from the power of shaitan So here we notice something very funny that the Quran contradict itself very easy It's very stupid statement and not only that later. We find that Allah he promised the Muslims wine in heaven So how the wine is made by Satan and yet you are importing Shaitan uh, You know Made a wine made by Shaitan you take it to heaven Why he's a promising Muslims wine in the heaven Uh, somebody saying look at the Christians here all are evil my friend Christians cannot be evil because even your Quran says the following Look like you are insulting your Quran and you are ignorant like your prophet <clears throat> I Never saw a Muslim he knows what they're talking about. I mean he's just trying to insult don't insult him back Please don't insult him back. He's just a poor kid How the Christians can be evil when your Quran saying that the Christians are going to go to heaven if this is true that's mean the Quran is a stupid book and you are the smart guy do you see it this is a chapter 2 verse number 62 No, you are a kid because your age is not doesn't matter. It's what you say will make you mature or not. There's many people at the age of 60, but yet they talk like a kid. So you are talking like a kid. Look at the Christians, how evil what they did to you. Did they kill you? Did they what they are doing? So you are talking like a kid. So I consider you as a kid, and it's okay, I forgive you. But look with me here. Your God saying the Christians and the Jews, and even those who worship the stars, they will go to heaven. And here I challenge the Muslim to tell me how in the world somebody worships stars will go to heaven. Hmm? At this stage, Muhammad is trying to convince anyone that he is a prophet. Like somebody, let me let me tell you the stage of Muhammad in this time. Muhammad at this time he opened a YouTube channel. And in his YouTube channels, he he wants everybody to subscribe. So he said, It doesn't matter who you are, just subscribe. Christians you will go to he to heaven Jews subscribe you will go to heaven uh, Worship stars. Okay Subscribe you will go to heaven So Muhammad was desperately looking for sub subscribers in YouTube But then when the Christian did not subscribe neither the Jews neither the Hindus neither the Buddhas neither the Sabian Muhammad he starts cursing everybody And this is exactly what happened Right, Protestant they says, uh, uh, my friend, this is not a true. Protestant, Protestant, they have many opinion about the communion, and what you said is not true. However, uh, taking a com the communion or not will not change the fact if you are a Christian or not. But Jesus clearly says, do this to remember me. So no, not even single Protestant he can say that Jesus did not say take this to remember me. He broke this bread, and he drank that drink, and he says do this to remember me. So nobody can deny that this is true. It doesn't matter what the church is. So maybe you have some uh, wrong information. 
uh, and don't try to change my topic out my friend concentrate with me and try to be an adult and mature so here you notice that the God of the Quran claiming that it changing grape into alcohol is a miracle of Allah but this is very easy to do I can do it that's mean I am God but in the case of Jesus Jesus he changed the wine from water not from a grape the change is not from a great from a grape juice into wine like she did not bring to him a grape juice and say uh, uh, make it wine fast like in a, in a second no they brought for him water just water and he changed the water into wine anyone understand what does that mean this is way beyond just a change in wine changing water into wine this is not just about a miracle this is about someone he can change your nature your structures your creation because water and wine is there is a huge difference between them the wine has water inside it that's true but the nature of this water is not really the same like our our body have a lot of water but the blood is we cannot say the blood is water the structure of the blood is not the same as water even though most of our body is water like if you burn somebody after you burn him from like let's say you're 200 kilo and then after they burn you if they burn you some people like the Hindus they burn so maybe you will what is going to be left of you is like 500 a gram or one kilogram I'm not sure yeah this is the translation Aramaic Bible into plain English you can open it so here you notice that this miracle about Jesus can change your nature many people they think if do if we uh, you know we try to live good we try to do good but they ignore something which is very important that by believing in the Messiah and following the Messiah he changed you as a change in water into wine he changed your nature and this is not only about multiplying as we see in the story of the fish which is mentioned in the Quran there's a chapter in the Quran it's called the chapter of Al-Ma'idah and that a chapter where supposedly the Quran copying the story of Jesus and you see this is the story Al-Ma'idah the Al-Ma'idah is the table with the table of who the table of Jesus the table of who the table of Jesus now if you read this chapter you will see how funny it is because I mean that the the the, the, the chapter is supposed to be about Jesus but look at this I mean what where, where is Jesus yet so Muhammad he makes things up the Quran is a, is a shish kebab hummus falafel you know potato tomato you know I mean he started talking about eating pigs and eating etc and blah 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 and then he jumped to Israel and then he jumped to to Jesus I mean it's a it's a really crazy book and then he jumped into Musa's and then you go back to Jesus and then he jumped to you know the Quran is like with my respect to all people I love all people but like sometime you see an old person who be like he uh, he is uh, he start losing his memory and his thinking and he have a flight of thought so he suddenly he talk about something and you don't understand what he's trying to say you know because simply uh, he is too old to put the information together so 
and then look you know well, look at this what, what what is the connection between those verses there's nothing there's nothing you keep going you keep going you keep going you keep reading trying to find okay where what what, what you are going to learn and then and then he go back to Jesus and la, 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 la. okay where is the knowledge there's no knowledge it's a person who talked too much who drank too much and is trying to make all right I will open Skype trying to make a book let me open my Skype to see we have a Muslim which is good <clears throat> All right. All right, we are in Skype. All right, Mr. Muhammad, you can text me. I did say hi to you. <coughs> Feel free to call me. So when you read the stories about Jesus, even in the Quran, that the Messiah, if he want, he can feed thousands of people. This is about the Messiah ability to multiply. According to the Quran, the Messiah he asked Allah to send him seven sandwiches. And every sandwich have a wheel. Hello? Hello? Yes. Is this Christian Prince? Yes, we are live on air. Go ahead. What do you like to say, my friend? Why are you always smoking Islam and Allah? I'm I'm doing what? You always keep mocking Islam and Allah. I'm not mocking. Why I'm mocking? Yeah, you said Islam is false. Yeah, this is not mocking. This is saying the truth. How? Well, prove to me that Islam is not false. Like, okay, you see, we are talking about... Uh, uh, your God, he sent uh, a table to Jesus and he sent him seven wheels. Why Allah send he sent him seven wheels to for, for the people to why wheels? I mean, what is that? Seven sandwiches, every sandwich have a wheel. Hey, just the time of Isa. I know, but who is the witness for this story? I mean, where Muhammad he got this story that there is a, there is sand, seven sandwiches, each sandwich have a wheel. Where Muhammad he got this story from? From the angel Jibril. Ah, and who is Jibril? How we know that this is a guy? He is Jibril. Yeah, he, he, he got inspired. But you just said to from me from Allah. the angel, what inspired? If if Jibril the one who told him, this is not inspiration. Inspiration is, I got something in my head. I you know I, uh, I got an idea. Or God spoke to me, but you are saying to me that there is a guy, his name is Jibreel. He told him that, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the proof that this Muhammad, he saw a guy, his name is Jibreel? Do you have any proof? Yeah, but how how you did you say it's not an angel? It's a real angel. Well, here we go. You see, you're a prophet and this is your Islamic books. I don't know if you can see my screen. You can see it, right? No, I can. I cannot. Why? Why not? I'm calling you from my phone. All right. In the Hadith of Sahih Bukhari, it says, "Once the Prophet was bewitched, so he began to imagine that he had done a thing which, in fact, he had not done." So Muhammad, according to Muslims, he is a crazy man. He imagined things, but they are not true. So how I can trust Muhammad saying he saw an angel? What do you think? But it's not. It's not when he got the inspiration. No, no, this is when he is a, he's a, he's a prophet now. He's a prophet. This is in the time when he is married to Aisha. Muhammad, he started uh, announcing himself as a prophet since the time of Khadijah. 
and Muhammad he married Aisha uh, after Khadija so Muhammad now is a prophet and now he is imagining that he had done a thing but in fact he did not so how I can trust up like if I say to you what's your name my friend you can call me Rosie Rosie okay Rosie yeah. uh, mr. Rosie uh, 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 let us say I you are a doctor dr. Rosie and I am a patient I come to you and I say I uh, you know I uh, I have a problem I imagine things happening to me and uh, what do you think what do you think if but it's not but but it's normal when you get an older age you know what it's a normal thing when you get uh, no no to... he is he is now now he is just started to his business as a prophet he just opened the the, 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 the store business uh, to be a prophet you know selling them um, verses as you see this is in the beginning of his life so it says here that he was bewitched not because he became old he was from bewitched. which source from huh? which source bewitched. from, from you know, which source do you know what uh, be bewitched mean yeah no under magic okay so your prophet was controlled by an evil power is that correct no not because not black magic is what the black magic is a good power Yeah, but it's it's not sure it, it uh, if it's evil or good. It says bewitch. Good what do you mean not evil? Mm -hmm. Even Allah, He sent two angels to fix it. Two angels, three angels actually. He sent them, and uh, they they have to search. They send the FBI. They bring the dogs. They start sniffing until they found the dead body. I mean, the hair of the prophet uh, hiding in the in a whale, and then they you know they destroy it and. So what are you talking about? This is an evil power. Allah Himself, He sent the the wee wee, you know, uh, department, the like the em well, the ambulance. But I but I believe uh, uh, it's not when he. I, I believe it's when he get older, you know. No, and no, no, not... no. Here we go. Let me look. Okay, it, it doesn't matter. He's older. He is younger. Doesn't matter. This guy, he imagined things which is not a true, you know. Let us say this is let us say let us go with you that Muhammad get older. Muhammad already is old. It's not the issue. Muhammad he became a, uh, he announced himself as a prophet when he was forty. So uh, when the angels they came to help Muhammad, and they try their best to find who is the one did magic for him you see I'm looking for the hadith for you let me let me switch so people I will not blind people by flipping the pages give me a second here we go uh, you know I can I cannot uh, see the screen yeah, I'm on, on my phone yeah, I know, I know. I will send you the link, actually. No problem. I will send you the link. Uh, <clears throat> well, and why you always keep talking about hadith? About what? About hadith? Yeah, why you always Muslims, talking about Why you Muslims, you wrote the hadith if you don't want me to read it? I mean, you Muslims keep talking about the hadith. You keep saying the, the, the prophet says, the prophet said, the prophet said. So... So now, yeah, so now uh, you Muslims, you my, can talk about the Prophet said, but I cannot say the Prophet said. Yeah, but uh, the Hadith. Yeah, the, already. The, the Quran is a Hadith. Muhammad he said, the Quran is a Hadith too. Many people uh, anti-Islam uh, already uh, fabricated the Hadith to mm. Did to you? make. Okay, are you saying back? to me that your Prophet now he fabricated his stories too? Because you are trying to avoid what your prophet said, uh, uh, you know, and uh, uh, switching to something else, saying, okay, those people are the one who imagined those stories. But the fact, the story is different. The story that you're a prophet, he is the one who is imagining, and he is the one who reports that. Is Aisha is anti Muhammad? Are you saying Aisha is a liar? No, I don't. I, I I didn't say okay, that but I, this is, I but liar, this is but, authentic. But the, here we go. Look, I will send you the link. You can open it in your phone, even if you have a phone, no problem. This is the link. You can open it, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is a very authentic hadith. 
So you have no excuse to say, uh, you know, people defabricate. This is not a fabrication approved by all Muslims. All right, you can open it, Mr. Muhammad. Rosie. Magic was work in the Prophet, so he began to fancy. Do you know what fancy mean? Yeah. Okay, so your Prophet, he think he is uh, uh, doing something, but the fact he did not do anything. Okay. So, uh, which which he ha he was not actually doing. So, here we notice that maybe Muhammad, he was seeing an angel, but in fact, he did not see an angel. Maybe Muhammad, he was he, he saw himself receiving a uh, message from an angel, but the fact, it was not an angel. He's he, hearing voices. One day, he invoked Allah for a long period and then said, I feel that Allah has inspired me as how to cure myself. Okay, how? And look at the story, how get the funny. How Allah inspire you and then he sent him. Two persons, two persons came to me. In my dream, by the way, the translation here is is a is a is false. No, it says here, uh, ashar, uh, uh, like uh, I felt that Allah, uh, uh, like he he answered me. He gave me the answer, Aftani. How he answered him? He answered his prayer. He sent him two guys, and those two guys they stood in the top of him, and as you see, one of them, uh, and it says here. Two persons came to me in my dream. This is between two brackets. This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. It doesn't say in Arabic to my dream. And set one on my, uh, by my head and the other one by my feet and asked the other, what is the element of this man? The other replied, he has been bewitched. The first asked, who was bewitched in him? The other replied, Lubaydud al -Asam. The first asked, what material he used? The other replied, uh, a comp of the hair gathered on it and the rotter skin of a pollen of a male uh, the date palm the first asked where is that the other replied uh, this is in the wheel of the, the Rawan so the prophet went toward that place and returned and he said uh, uh, and uh, he said uh, to me and his return it's a date palm uh, which means he was controlled by, I mean, who is going to believe in this story? This story alone is proving that Muhammad, and look, it says here, are like the heads of the devil. I ask, did you take it out, those things which uh, that the magic was work? He said, no. I have been uh, cured by Allah, and I am afraid that this action may spread evil amongst the people. Okay, let me ask you. How, what is the proof that Muhammad was uh, cured? He is the guy who is sick and he is sick by what by taking some hair from him and putting it in the camp do you believe really somebody can control you by taking some hair from you yeah maybe it's made you know hmm but this is me we cannot trust Muhammad because I can now take some hair of Muhammad and make him say that Allah told me this and who 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 the one who uh uh make made the prophet be which the jews yeah the guy his name is lubaid al asam supposedly he's a jew so if if the jew control muhammad that's mean the quran is made by the jews because during the time muhammad was bewitched how many verses muhammad uh, so, he gave to the muslims so, how much how much so, quran muhammad he gave you as a as a prophet and you believed him but he was bewitched so, the, so the Quran was right because uh, many Jews and uh, Christians the, didn't like what the Prophet, you know. And my friend, nobody liked the Prophet. We know he's a child molester, he's a criminal, he's a killer. That's that, that's that's normal to to happen. But this is not the question. We have a God who cannot protect his Prophet, and his Prophet is bewitched, which means the 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 the, the Shaitan. If this is an evil work, because I said to you, is this black magic is evil? You said no. But you just now admitted that they hate him, and this is a Jew. So this is an evil. So how the evil can control your prophet? Yeah, well, uh, does it matter? Okay, In the I, I, I want to ask you, uh, Rosie, 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 listen. I sometimes I hear sounds in my head. I hear like a sound of a bell in my head. And I think an angel is speaking to me. What do you think? What is my situation? 
Yeah, I don't know, but what do you think? Like I hear like you know, bim bim bim, and I imagine myself that this is the angel talking to me by the sound of a bell. What do you think that is? I think you got schizophrenia, you know. Really? How you know that? Yeah. Yeah, you imagine things. But maybe I'm prophet. Don't God he yeah, give, but don't God he give you messages by bill? What if God is giving me message by bill? In my head. Don't you think this uh, this is angel speaking to me? Yeah, you know, uh, but Quran always tell that we have to believe. Mm. Yeah, but you have so you are saying to me now I'm sick in my head and I'm hearing voices, stupid voices, because I'm male, correct? Yeah. Okay. But isn't this is how your prophet received the Quran? I don't know. I, uh, Angel Jibril came to yeah, but the how he how he say, how Jibril he speak, how Jibril he speak to Muhammad? He did not speak to him. Muhammad is a crazy man. You just told me everybody everybody heard you saying if I hear this. That's mean I am I I, I have shafrazania. What is that? I don't, I don't know what is that. I'm not good in English. So uh, I have what? I mean I have. Is Yeah, you see, this is what you said to me. So the the one who hear those sounds, he obviously he is mentally ill. Look at this, Muhammad saying not me, and this is Sahih al Bukhari, and this is very authentic. Abu Huraira, let me send you the link so you can read with me, uh, Mr. Muhammad. Yeah. Here we go. This is the link. You can open the, the chat in the in Skype and you can read in your side as long as you are using the phone. Al Harith ibn Hashim or Hisham asked the Prophet, How does the divine inspiration come to you? He replied, In all these ways, the angels sometimes come to me with the voice which resembles the sound of a ringing bell. Yeah. What? Yeah. You just told me. If I am hearing those things, I am mentally ill. You are the one who said that. Uh, because you you already know the story. In the case of the prophet, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, so you are now going to change your answer just because it's your prophet who have it. A second ago, you gave me a plain answer saying, "Oh, right away, that I am mentally ill and have a problem." And you know what? I want to ask you: Did Muhammad receive the Quran in Arabic or in the sound of a bell? In Arabic, okay. So it says here he give him a, a ringing of a bell. Yeah, just a sign. It's not a Quran. Do you think this is Quran? No, it's just no. a sign. He sign. said, "I receive inspiration." He, the question was, "How the divine inspirations come to you?" He says, "The angels sometimes come to me with the voice resemble the sound of a ringing bell." Read it. Hold yeah. on, I'm receiving Quran. Hold it, please. Hold on. Quran. Okay. This is was Bismillah al Rahman al Rahim. Okay. Muhammad received a sound of a bell. How this is became Quran in Arabic? Is it? Are you think it is Quran? Well, it is what it says in front of you. He inspired him. The guy is asking him, "How did divine inspiration come to you?" Do you see the question? In all these ways, he said, how the divine inspirations come to you? The first, he mentioned, the voice resemble the sound of a ringing bell, which means the angel don't say hello in Arabic. He don't say assalamu alaikum. He don't say anything in Arabic. He just give him a ring of a bell. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Jibreel. Did you hear Jibreel? No. <laughs> this is his sister. <laughs> You're joking. No, I'm not joking. This is Jibreel. You're, are you making fun of the Prophet Muhammad? Come on, don't do that, please. No, no. Here we go. No, uh, this is Allah. No, I. Do you know what chapter is that? This is the chapter of the bell. You know, uh, Asian Prince, hmm. I, I watch your video hmm. uh, translated to Bahasa. To Bahasa. All right. 
He said that uh, um, Allahu Akbar means moon and God. Don't share topic. Don't share topic. Don't share topic. We can go there after we finish this one. I promise you, no problem. We want to finish this one, my friend. Okay. How your prophet he made the Quran in Arabic if he's receiving a voice of a bill. Muhammad did not receive Quran in Arabic. So how this is became a bill? The bill became Arabic. What do you think? I think uh, that's that's how God give uh, inspiration to the prophet. I, I get no, it. I, I get it. Allah, He gave him the ring of a bill. Okay, Muhammad, he is a man like me and you. I and now I you heard the bill. I heard the bill. How we can make the bill into words? The sound of a bill. Yeah, but it it uh, you know maybe uh, the prophet uh, mm. receive the different output. Uh, the new but no he you said know? he said it's a sound of a bill my friend this is what he received the output to him it was bill it's read it which resembled the sound of a ringing bell it's not me who's saying that this is the output let us say according to you now you're saying the angel he was making a ring of a bell but in the other side Muhammad he was receiving Arabic no Muhammad he heard the sound of a ringing bell he did not hear anything else I was thinking that maybe at that time Muhammad he learned like this uh, Do you think so? I don't I don't know. What do you know? I mean, uh, come on, you need to explain to me. This is your religion. This is your prophet saying that. And this is Sahir Bukhari. And this is a very authentic hadith. So either we have to agree that Muhammad is a crazy man. He never heard an angel. This guy he hears. You can go right now, by the way. You search in Google. You find that all those people who have shepherds that they hear sound of a bell in their head. This is true. They have, they hear sounds, they hear voices. When I was in the army, I remember there's a guy who was with me in the army, in the USA army. He, they, they, uh, they kicked him out because he, he hear voices. They kick him out. This guy, he talked himself at night. The, the, the soldiers, they noticed that this guy, he talked to himself, etc. And he imagined, so and they sent him to the doctor and then they, they, they let him go. So you're a prophet saying that he hear the inspiration. How he received the inspiration? He received it as a sound of a bell. Yeah, uh, it's a sound of a bell for us. Uh, no, 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 for him, for him. He is the one describing it, my friend. What do you mean for us? Muhammad is not a human. Muhammad says, which resemble the sound of a ringing bell. Who is the one saying that? Muhammad, the guy is asking him, how the inspiration come to you? What Muhammad said? A ringing bell. So how the ringing bell became Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim, Alhamdulillah al-Labbil Alamin. I I already heard you that uh, God is Almighty. You know he he can do everything. Okay, we don't know. Okay, I will go with you, guys. God is Almighty, but God the Almighty, He says, I never send a messenger unless He speak the language of His people. So the message should be in the language. Of the people like are you from the nation of Bill Billy Clinton as an example why Allah will send him a message in a sound of a bill when the guy is an Arab guy this is the Quran chapter 14 verse number 4 we sent not a messenger except with the language of his people is the bill the language of the Arab like the Arab I am an Arab like when we woke up in the morning my mom she don't come to me it says that to come and drink your milk no, she ring a bell. And now I know that my mom, because the, uh, the bell is our language. We talk, my dad, when he said to her, my mom, I want to marry you, he did not say to her, I want to marry you. He ring a bell. You know, there's a bell like, and my, my mom, she answered him, says, I will marry you, but not, but not by talking, not in Arabic. No, she answered him by the bell. She said, So what are you talking about? Your God is giving the language to the people to learn about him by a sound of a bell. Why? Are we Arab who speak bell language? Yeah, but wasn't it the uh, Quran was uh, 
came down like a letter. What letter? I, I'm showing you. He, it came down as a bell. My friend Muhammad, wake up, my friend. It's a sound of a bell. Hey, maybe it's just uh, one, one first. Muhammad, or... Muhammad, hold on. Do you know what the sound of a bell means? Have you ever heard one before? Yeah. Okay. So st stop saying to me letters. It's a bell. It's a bell. So as long as we are saying a bell, and the one is saying that, it's your prophet. It's not me. It's not you. It's not anyone. He is the one describing what he heard, a sound of a bell. So Muhammad, he received a bell. And the bell today is Quran. How this happen? Yes, it is, but you, you know that the hadith is the story from another people, you know, from when they hear it, uh, when they heard it, mm. and tell the story to another people, maybe uh, it changed a little bit, you know. Okay, I, I, I got it, no problem. I'm asking you. Muhammad, he received, no, this is very, first of all, this is very authentic. Secondly, Muhammad, he did not receive Arabic. He received a sound of a bell. I want you to translate to me the bell into Arabic. How this happened? Yeah, in that part, I, I don't know. I have no idea about okay, it. Okay, for if I, I respect that you say I have no idea. That's a good. But why Allah will give him even a sound of a bell? Don't, do, do Allah think that Muhammad is an alien, maybe? He's from different galaxy. Don't he knew that this guy is an Arab? He speak Arabic? I don't know. Okay, so but, Muhammad, Muhammad Rosi, you know, he's laughing at his prophet. That's a good news. He's no, laughing. no, no, you did laugh. I mean, Everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. I, it's okay. It's okay. I'm laughing too. Like, you know, like, no, hold, on, hold on, hold on, my, my, hold on, hold on. But please, Muhammad, my mom, she brought me the, 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 the coffee, uh, and I heard, uh, I heard this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a, so she was saying to me my your coffee is uh, in the table and uh, uh, just to let you know I did not add sugar you see this is how we are we talk we don't talk I mean like we know they are like uh, we are Bill Bill they're like Bill this is why uh, you know like uh, uh, actually Bill Clinton is my cousin my friend this is why his name is Bill I mean so what is this you are laughing with me this is this is a joke obviously so what kind of a prophet and why only Muhammad he receive his inspiration in a sound of a bell? Do you have an idea? No, no, no. Why Musa did I, not receive a sound of a bell? You know, uh, since I was a kid, I was told by mm. uh, my parents and my stars, mm. uh, Quran came, came down uh, as a book, already as a book. Uh, I don't know uh, from uh, the inspiration from uh, coming like a sound of a bell. I don't know, but yeah, but this is crazy, my friend. Obviously, your prophet is mentally ill. Listen, Muhammad. After you finish talking to me, I want you to go to Google and search for mental illness, hearing voices, and hearing a sound of a bell. You will find. Yeah, can we can can we talk about Quran? We are talking about the Quran. This is Quran, my friend. The sound of the bell is the Quran. This is the problem. Didn't, didn't you notice? Like, didn't that ring the bell in your head yet? We are talking about the Quran, Muhammad. What's wrong with you, my friend? This is the Quran. Listen, listen. I mean, here we go. This is Quran. <laughs> Stop. Stop what? mocking, bro. I'm not mocking. This is the truth. You're a prophet. He received sound of a bell. And you are saying to me, let us talk about the Quran. This is the Quran. This is the Quran. You are driving me crazy, mate. Okay, you know no, what? I, I, I'm, I'm I, getting angry. I'm getting angry. Let me, let me tell you something in, in my language. Hold on. I cannot take it no more. Sorry. I mean, I, I have to answer you now. Okay. Translation. I was saying to you, come on. No, you, you, you're funny, you know. I, I have to admit that. But it's about the Islam, you know. Islam is the... the uh, my parents and Ustaz is, uh, always tell that Islam is the, the, the only true religion. You know? okay, okay, you know what? I'm going to change the topic for you. I want you, Mr. Muhammad, to show me how Islam is the only true religion. Here we go, I'm listening. And I'm not going to answer you using the sound of a bell no more. I promise. I will use more. Uh, yeah, you can, you can, you can see uh, Surah Al-Khlas. Surah Al-Khlas. It's a, yeah, it's a good. Really? 
okay. chapter, you know. Are you sure you want to, you want to talk about al ikhlas my friend? I advise you okay. not to do so. Do you want to listen my advice? I don't know. It's up to you. I advise you not to do so because this is a verse is a proven to me that Muhammad is not a prophet of God. Let me let's read together. Qul huwa Allahu ahad in Arabic. You see here the translate for you says Allah the one. Does it say the yeah. one in your translation? Yeah. Okay. But the word ahad mean one off. If I take this word in the front of your eyes, I don't know if you can see the screen, you said you cannot. But anyone you can yeah, I, watch I cannot. The, okay. Now I will take the word I had as it is from that verse and I post it in the Quran and I put it there as it is the word I had appear 29 time in the in the search engine each time the word I had appear you come in as one off one off so you must then believe that Allah is one off I had does not mean wahid wahid is one I had mean one off and you can copy the same as I did you can copy the word ahad and post it or paste it in the search engine click search and you will find it all over here we go translation and we do not differentiate between any of them between any what of them so the word is it's one one of them any one of them we don't differentiate between any one of them this is what I had mean. So when you choose for me that verse, you just to prove to me that you Muslim don't believe in something called the oneness of God. You believe in unification of God, which there's many gods, and he is one of them. And look what it says, the verse after it. It says, Qul huwallahu samad. Do you know what samad mean? No. The Muslims, if you read the interpretation, everyone is trying to guess. Not a single scholar agree with the other one about what the summit mean. Why? Because this is an Aramaic word. Summit mean the collect. Have you ever seen like uh, like something made from clay and there is a hole in the top of it you, you to save your money inside it? It's like, uh, you know what I'm talking about? For kids, usually they used to do it. The kids, they save their money in it. They make something from... Like a bunker? Yeah, like a banker, but for kids, you know, like from a, from a clay. This is a summit, masmuda. This is an Aramaic oh, word. Celengan, celengan. In Indonesia, we said celengan. Okay, this is exactly what it is. Yeah. So Allah is a summit. What does that mean? There's a there's a group of them, and He is the one who He like He is the one who uh, unite them all. He never be getting a son, and nobody is equal to Him. So this is a proven that Islam is not believing in the oneness of God. Secondly, do you know that Allah, it says here, he begot not, nor he has begotten, correct? Yeah. Okay. But in different verse in the Quran, your God, he says, if you want to have a wife, we will take it from our kind. Mm -hmm. And what is the kind of Allah? Yeah, but but it didn't happen, right? No, no, no. Doesn't matter. Who is the kind of Allah? What happened? It happened already. He have a kind. He says, if we intended to take a wife or a son, we have to take it from us. Do you see the word us? Yes. Okay. So. When Allah, he want to take a partner and he will take it from us. But he is only one. And he now is talking about taking a partner. There's no way he is saying us. He mean himself as the Muslim. They claim that like as a majestic, as a king. As you see, he is going to have a wife to have sex with her. So if he want to have a sex, he is going to have it with us. Who is us? Allah. Who? God, Allah will have sex with Allah. No, I, I mean, it didn't happen, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but there is us. Is not My friend, he did not take the wife, but there is us. Thus, us is there, but he did not take them as a partner yet. So, who is the us? If Allah want to take a wife or a son, 
he will take it from us who are they the us if they are not from him from his kind he cannot call them us correct mm -hmm. like to say us that's mean you belong to a group do you agree yeah okay so Allah he says if I want to take a partner I will not take it from you I will take it from us here Huh? Is that tafsir or Quran? Sure, we can go to the tafsir. No problem. You want tafsir? No, no. Uh, you, you, what you read? It I'm reading Quran now. I'm reading Quran. I'm reading the 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 bill. You know. <laughs> yeah, we are still in the bill. Now we did not leave. If you want tafsir, we can go to tafsir. No problem. You want no, tafsir? No. No. Okay. Actually, uh, we Indo Indonesian Muslim always take uh, tafsir from. Our our sheikh, you know, uh, my, my my friend, how Christ, your sheikh, you have? how your sheikh can, can can explain the Quran if the Arab who they are Arab cannot understand the Quran? I mean, your sheikh, his name uh, Shalun Shabash Khashi Khoha, who do not speak Arabic, huh? He wanna teach you. Quraish Shahab, huh? Quraish Shahab, Quraish Shahab, who is Quraish Shahab? Uh, one of the biggest sheikh in Malaysia. He is the biggest sheikh in Asia. Okay, can you read for me the interpretation for this verse of the biggest sheikh of Asia? I think I think uh, it, it exists in your site. No, yeah. they, they, I don't think this guy he is. The, 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 he is not count as a as a sheikh. This guy is a sheikh. sheikh you know, see here, all the sheikhs are here in this website, and such a people. Actually, the Arab they don't approve anyone. He is not really one of them to be a scholar, really. So here, this is a Jalalain. And here is saying, if we go to the verse, here we go. I will go to a Jalalain. And this is a chapter 21, verse number 17. <clears throat> Let us hope the website will open because this is a Muslim website. You know, Islamic website, sometimes they don't work. Most of the time, actually, nothing works in Islam. The second you give something to Muslim government is, is screwed. There we go. It's not opening now. We have to ring a bell to Jibril so he can open it. Hold on. Hey, Jibril, come on, open it. I don't think anything can wake up. Can we talk about Allahu Akbar? Yeah, we can talk about Allahu Akbar. Yeah, but uh, I want to show you. We will wait for it to open and we will go back to it. What about Allahu Akbar? He said, "Who is M? <coughs> huh? You said who? Allah is who? M. Allah who? Akbar. Allah Akbar. Yeah. You hmm. said uh, moon and God. No. Right? Moon and the sun. Hey, moon. Oh yeah, moon and sun. Right. Uh, but who is not N? Wa is N? You see, in Arabic, we say who." This is what there's many ways to say the, the letter who Allah who Akbar uh, by the way let us say I go with you if who is not why why you want to say Allah who Akbar say Allah why you say Allah who Allah yeah Akbar. but I you know I I, I <clears throat> I'm not really good in Arabic, no problem, no problem. No, but listen, listen. I asked okay, let me ask you. Did did uh, Abraham, according to the Quran, when he saw the sun in the sky, he says, "This is my God." Did Abraham call the sun Akbar? Yeah. Okay. Why Akbar? Why he? Because Akbar? he. Because he didn't know Allah yet. Hmm. But why he called it Akbar? He did not call the moon Akbar. He called the sun Akbar. But in fact, the moon appeared bigger. The moon appeared bigger? Yes, because the moon is more close sun. to us. Yes, the, the sun is, it looks small. If you look at the sun, you cannot, it's, it's small. It's not really big. It's so far. The sun doesn't look mm. big. The moon look way bigger. Sometimes the moon is so close to the earth, it's big, stock so big. So why he called it Akbar when he is talking about the sun? Because this is the name of the moon of the of the sun god. 
We have the moon god, we have the sun god, this is Allah and this is Akbar. They get Where married, they have a three daughters. Let me, ask you, uh, is, let, let me uh, ask you, the uh, uh, the Quran says that Allah have a three daughters, Allah and Al-Uzza and Manat. Where the story is coming from? Who who did get married from who? I don't know, but it, it is a, a question from uh, the people of Quraysh, you know? Yeah, but how the people of Quraysh, they imagine that Allah have the three daughters, from where he got them? Obviously, he have sex with somebody. He have a wife. Who is the wife of Allah? According to the Arab of Quraysh. I don't know. Akbar, the son. The moon married from the sun. They have sex. They have three daughters. So you said uh, Akbar is the name of the sun uh, in yeah. Arabic or No, this is, this is how they believe in it, Akbar. This is the God. This is the name of the God. It's the male name god of the God or is a male is the god. name of the sun. Listen, there's a male God, which is the moon God, and there's a female God, which is the sun God. So the moon God married from the sun God, and they have the three daughters. Otherwise, I ask you, and I challenge any one of your scholars to tell me, where is Allah and Al-Uzza and those are three uh, 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 daughters of Allah coming from? Okay, where Allah, he gave birth from his bum? Where, when, when the, those people, they believe that Allah have three daughters, where is the wife? Uh, can you read the the verse after after that verse? Which verse? Uh, after Alat, Almanat, and Uzza. Yeah. Okay. He says, Allah, he said to them, what? For you, the male, and for me, the female? And here, additional proof that Allah cannot be God because Allah complaining that, he is not complaining that he have uh, uh, children. He is complaining that he they gave him three daughters, but he don't have a son. And he yeah, said, this it, is, this is indeed... This is in, indeed unfair uh, division. The, in the division. I mean, what kind of God? He says that. Yeah, but isn't it? Uh, uh, it's clear that it's not a confirmation from Allah that he has. No, no, look, look, look. I don't care. I don't care. You see, this is Muhammad trying to get away from the old belief, which the Arab believe. But Muhammad is copying the name of the same God. Muhammad, you see, did you ask yourself how the Arab are pagan yet did they believe in Allah? Yeah, but but Christian in Arabic in old days also called God Allah. No, no, that's not true. We don't call Allah. That's false. This is appear only in the in the false uh, Bible translation in Arabic. We don't. After the Muslims Arabic. occupy, after the Muslim occupy and conquer all the lands where the, where the the Christians live in the Middle East, then they've been forced to use the word Allah. We so cannot find, we cannot find my, friend, my, friend, my, friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, the Bible is written in three languages, Aramaic, Hebrew, and Greek. We cannot find the word Allah there anywhere. We find the word Al-Ilah, which means God. We can find the word uh, Il, which means God. Like uh, Il, you know, Israel, Mikael, Gabriel, the word Il at the end, this is what means God. But there's no Allah. Allah is the same name which is used by the Arab but it is the same deity used by other nations as an example Muhammad in the Quran he said that there is many creators do you believe there's many creators how many creators uh, there yeah is? but but no no but I'm asking, true. How, many, how many creators there is one one so how, how Allah he says he is the best of the creators Yeah, maybe uh, it just uh, it just for the people who said that there are many creators out there beside Allah. You know, there is many creators. You really a second ago you told me there is one creator. You see, you gave me the chapter of Al-Ikhlas. You says Allah is one God, supposedly, and now you are saying there is many creators. No, I said uh, it, that's that verse only for uh, the people. Who think that there are many creators my friend, my friend. no 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 he says that he is the best of the creator when you say i am the best of the creators you are saying there's a creators but i'm the best if there's no other creators and you say i am the best that's mean you are lying let me tell you a story uh muhammad about me when i was a kid i was number one in my classroom you believe that what do you think 
Yeah, I believe it. Right. Why not? But I was the only student there. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you know, yeah, but it's you, different. See, you're laughing now. I was the no. only student in the classroom. So how I can be the best of the students if there's no other student? That's when I'm lying. The second I say I am the best of the students, that's mean, and that's mean there's students. So you cannot be the best unless there is others to compare to. So I am the best in the students in my classroom. But oh, hold on, I did not tell you the whole story. I am the only student in the. That's mean I'm not. I'm not the best. I cannot be number one because I cannot be number two. There's no options. You are the only student. So when Allah He says He is the best of the creators, either this is a stupid statement. Or Muhammad is copying the statement from somebody. I don't. I. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, I can show you. Show you that Muhammad, when he says he was reciting this chapter here, he has an, an inscribed the one who write the Quran for him. The guy, his name is Abdullah ibn Sarh. When Muhammad he arrived to this part of the verse, he the guy he said. Praise be to Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad, he Where said did to him, you get this from? From the tafsir. Tafsir who? Well, here we go. Let me show you. Guys, tafsir who? Did, did, did Muhammad say tafsir who? Let us see tafsir who. <laughs> you know, we, we did oh, the Muslim. The uh, website, hold on. The website open finally. Of about Allah, Allah will have sex with the with His kind. Look who His kind is. Do you see it? It says, "The beautiful eyed Huris and the angels." Do you see it? So Allah is from the same kind of the Huri, but Huris are women. The Hur. How Allah is going to marry a Hur and He called them ourselves? That's mean Islam is a stupid cult. Now we go to the verse you are asking about. Uh, <clears throat> About Allah, the best of the creators. Hold on, the chapter twenty-three, verse number fourteen, as you see in the screen. Twenty-three. I hope it's going to work. Fourteen. Hmm. Let us see where it says. Maybe this is where we find it in Ibn Kathir. Give me a second. <coughs> Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. Let me give you. Let me look for it. Because I don't like to say something without proving it. You know. All right. Can you send me the link? Huh? Can you send me the link about sure, sure, that sure, verse? Sure. All right. All right. This is the Seer Al Qurtubi. I will see the link. This is the most yeah. accurate, authentic website you can receive messages from or learning from. It is the official government of Saudi Arabia. All right, and here is the story. Tabarak Allahu Ahsan al Khaliqin. Fanazalat Tabarak Allahu Ahsan al Khaliqin. Wa yurwa an qailan qal qail qail dalika Mu'adh ibn Jabal. Wa ruya an qail dalika Abdullah ibn Sarah. I will translate for you. Wa bihaza al sabab irtada wa qal ati bi mithli ma yati Muhammad. So they are saying, who is the one who says, "Bless be Allah, the best of the creators"? And here they are giving you the opinion. Some they say the one who said is Mu'adh ibn Jabal. Some they say it is Abdullah ibn Sarah, and, he, and because of that he became an apostate, because he said, "Well, I can 
re I receive I can make the same as Muhammad make because Muhammad he copy what he said I just send you the link I actually I'm going to use Google uh, uh, browser so I can use yeah. uh, uh, like uh, Google translation because we don't have Al-Qurtubi in English if you have if you if you have any way to find Al-Qurtubi in English you can go to chapter of Al-Mu'minun and verse number 14 all right and here we go let us uh, let us go to Google translation this is the page in Arabic I will click in the front of your eyes and translate to English They are guessing who is the one who said that. Okay, fourth, the 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 Almighty, blessed be the God of the best of creators. Uh, told that Omar Khattab when he heard the verse was issued, saying, "Create another said uh, stupid translation." And then he said, "Here, let us see what we say is uh, okay." Uh, some they say uh, that the one who said the blessed be the God, the best of the creator, it was narrated. This is. Uh, uh, the one who said that is Mu'az ibn Jabal. It was narrated that someone who said that Abdullah ibn, Sarah, ibn Abi Sarah, that uh, that while he was bounced, which means he refused Islam, he became murtad, he became an apostate. He said, I came the like as Muhammad. <laughs> now translation is funny. I, I am the one who made it. Muhammad, he's copying it from me. So Muhammad, he copied what Abdullah ibn Sarah, Abdullah ibn Sarah was the writer. Muhammad was saying, uh, 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 like uh, uh, reciting the verse and then when he arrived at this point Abdullah ibn Sarah he opened his mouth he says blessed be Allah the best of the creators he liked what Muhammad said Muhammad he said to him put it there but then Abdullah he says but it's me who said that he said I receive it the same as you said I receive it mm. the same as you said and this is why it says there he became an apostate because he discovered that Muhammad is a scam. So either you have to accept that Muhammad is a scam or you have to accept that Muhammad saying there's many gods and he is the best of the creators. Which one you accept? Yeah, I, I can. Uh, is this from al -Qurtubi? Yes, I gave you the link. I sent it to you. Yeah, but it's in Arabic, you know. My friend, no problem. Aren't you have the biggest shake in the world in the in Asia? Huh? Send them an email. Say, hey, Abdul, the big shake. I want you to answer this. This guy, he showed me al qurtubi saying that this is the guy who made the Quran, and because of that, he left Islam. Yeah. Can I ask you something? No, no, before we go, do you agree that Allah is the best of the creators or this is a fabrication or there's other creators? Yeah, it, uh, it's related from uh, with what I, I'm going to ask you. Mm. Go ahead. Uh, you said uh, the story came from Al-Qurtubi, Al no? No, it's not from Al-Qurtubi. Uh, Al-Qurtubi is a, is a uh, given interpretation. The story is coming from many books. So it's an um, accumulative from many books. Yes. Yes. There's many books confirming this story. This is not a story of Al-Qurtubi. I'm just mentioning to you a, a very famous a scholar. So you will not say to me, I don't know who is this guy. I never heard this guy. You see all those books in the front of you is mentioning the story. Yeah, I know. I know. All right. Al -Qurtubi, and just know, to give you, just to give you like a, a page of Al-Qurtubi. Here we go. This is a Jamia Li Ahkam Al Quran by Al Qurtubi, volume number 12. Volume number 12. And let us uh -huh. see if they have the page number here. I don't see the page number. Uh, they are not showing the page number, sadly. I don't see a page number to give it to you. But this is in volume number 12 in the interpretation of the chapter of Al Mi'minun. All right. So, what yeah. do we do now? This is you Muslim saying that Muhammad is copying a guy and this guy he later he left Islam and he says well Muhammad obviously is a fraud if he can do this I can do this too because he is taking my words I am the one who said that and he said oh it came to me the same as uh, Muhammad said to him it came to me as it came to you yeah it's a little bit strange you know 
Yeah, but we have to think, uh, Muhammad, because either Allah is the best of the creators, and that means there's many creators, or He is, there's no other creators, and He's the only God. So if Islam believe in one God, then we have one God, and that's it, there's no other creators. So who are the other creators? This is Tafsir al Razi. This is Tafsir al Razi. Let me see in Tafsir al Razi. Hold on. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, read. This is Tafsir al Razi. I will give you the link too. Yeah. This is the book. Is I'm getting it from a Shia website, but al Razi is not a Shia. This is just a library. All right. So he might say to you, "Oh, this is from Shia website." Al Razi and Al Qurtubi they are Sunni. I give you the link there. Here we go. It says that number three, Ruya and Al Kalbi ibn Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of the Prophet. And Abdullah ibn Saad ibn Ibn Abi Sarah. كان يكتب هذه الآيات لرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. فلما انتهى إلى قوله خلقا آخر. So Muhammad he he was saying until he arrived where he says خلقا آخر آخر, which means another creation, another creation. Abdullah he was wondering. He liked it. So he said. فتبارك الله أحسن الخالقين فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أكتب فهكذا نزلت فشك عبد الله بن السرح and and he became an apostate so let me translate the page for you into Google محمد was reciting the the chapter and then he said he arrived until he said the word making it a create another creation and then Abdullah ibn Sarah, he was he he spoke in wonder. He said, "Praise be to Allah, the best of the creators." I will click in the front of you on the screen. Translate to English. Here we go. I will go on the top. Interpretation of Ar Razi, variant number twenty-three, page number eighty-six. All right. Read carefully with me. Kalib uh, narrated from Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with, with them, that Abdullah ibn Sa'ad ibn Abi Sarah was writing the verses of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, when he ended saying, uh, Creation of another, uh, 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 Ibn Sarah, he, he spoke in wonder, he said, Blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, says, Type it as you say it. This is how I get it. <laughs> you see it? I mean, imagine, yeah. Muhammad, you are working for the Prophet. And the Prophet was making Quran. And then he stopped talking. And then you say, you say, praise be Allah, the best of the creators. And then the Prophet, write it there, write it there, as you said. But this is what I said. <laughs> and then Abdullah ibn Sarah, he said to himself, if Muhammad was sincere, saying it, it revealed to me as it revealed to him. Do you see it? Yeah, but it can be... Uh, and, he, and the guy, he left Islam and then he died as a kafir. It says here in disbelief, he died as a kafir. Catholic? As a kafir, what Catholic? Kafir, kafir. Oh, yeah. You know what kafir mean? <coughs> kafir, yeah. Mm. So what do you think, Muhammad? Be honest with me. Isn't it? This is this is your books. This is not the Christian books. This is not the Hindu's books. This is not the atheist. This is Tafsir Al Qurtubi. This is Tafsir Al Razi. This is your scholars, the big names, saying that Muhammad he copied the sentence from the guy. His name is Abdullah ibn Sarah, and this is why the guy he left Islam. But you know, uh, Islam can can be interpret interpret. My friend, this is not interpretation. This is the it's story as it happened. Know. This is not interpretation. Forget about interpretation. Muhammad he took a sentence from the man, and he claimed that this is from Allah. But the guy he said that first, isn't it? You Muslims and the Quran says nobody can make Quran like the Quran. So how nobody can make Quran and Muhammad is copying Quran from Abdullah ibn Sarah?
Yeah. So what do you think, my friend? Are you going to leave Islam? You are smarter than this. You will let this religion fool you? It's a scam. Imagine I come to you, I say I'm a prophet, and I receive this from God, and then you say a sentence, I say, okay, write it, this is how I get it too. I like what you said, I added to the Quran. How Muhammad, he add a statement of an, an, an a, a guy who is not a prophet to his Quran, claiming that, okay, this is from my God too. And by taking it, he exposed himself because he just said that Allah is the best of the creators. Some smart Muslim, they will say to you, oh, the one who created a bicycle, my friend, creation in religion is about giving life. And this is how Allah in the Quran describe. He says, and this is how Allah He bring uh, He make life, life. This is the creation. So, how this happen? How is still you believe that this is a prophet? Yeah, I don't know. In Indonesia, uh, my 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 say said that Islam can be interpret interpret. Yeah, what what can I say? Interpret it in beautiful ways, you know. What beautiful? This forget about this garbage, man. What beautiful way? They fool you. You speak Arabic. They are fooling you. Look at this madness. This yeah, is written in your Islamic it's books. Strange. No, it's not yeah, strange. It's strange. It's obvious. It's obvious. Come on, you are a smart person. Muhammad is a fraud. Either this Quran is coming all from Allah, or Muhammad copying others. <laughs> Yeah. So what, Muhammad? Are you going to leave Islam now? I'm sure you will. You are smarter than yeah. this. It's really hard to know because uh, my family and my... My friend, if your family are being fooled with my respect to them, you will stay fooled too? Is that an excuse? What does have to do with family? So it's better if, like, if we are all of us li living in dark, you don't want to be the candle in the house to light the light for your family? You want them to stay in dark too? No. Okay. So somebody have to light the light. Let us say, I have my family now and we are living in darkness for a thousand years. Why? Because, okay, we have to live in the darkness. No, we don't have to. Somebody have to light the light so we can see. And that's you, my friend. Yeah, but Islam is is became our tradition nowadays. What tradition? Indonesia, this is a bad you know? tradition. What tradition? Become our culture. Having four wives. What is love? What is love, my friend? Lo uh, four wives. A man who love a woman, he stay with her. You, you do not need four. You know, a woman is not a chicken. If you are decent, if Islam is a decent religion, will teach you to love your wife, not to have many as many as you wish. Divorce them and use them and abuse them. Not to beat them. <clears throat> this is not from God. What tradition? Beating your wife is a tradition now? What kind of religion teaches you to beat your wife? What kind of a tradition says if you divorce your wife three times, she has to sleep with other Abdul and then he she come back to you? Do you respect yeah, your God? Do you respect your God when he says to you if you divorce your wife three times, she has to sleep with your neighbor so she can come back to you? Is that tradition, my friend? Is that what you Indonesian accept? What is your no, dignity? In what is your dignity? Your your wife, the mother of your children. If you get angry from her and you say to her you are divorced and this is the third time you do it that's it she have to find a new man and take off her panty and she have to do yes. boom boom with him and then she can come back to you what kind of god this god is hey, it's disgusting you know disgusting thank you very much he just said that but, but women in indonesia uh there are so many of them who Accept this this way, you know. Because this, they have no choice. This is the religion. What accept? Nobody accept, my friend. There's no women except to have two, uh, two uh, four women in the house as as wife. All women they wish to be the only one for the man. You think the women have no feeling, but but you, because you treat them like like uh, uh, like goats, so they have no choice. Nothing in her hand. Nothing in her control. Don't tell me they accept. They don't accept. Yeah, they are forced by situation. Thank you. Yeah. So Muhammad, you better now say, I am out of Islam, my friend. You are smarter than this.
You already said it's disgusting, so you are out already. Say it. <laughs> you did already. Say it. Be the be the man. Come on. Okay. You are out. Yes. I mean to that. Muhammad finally he don't believe that there is a prophet there is he receive a ring of a bill in his head This is the man. He is a smart man. He made the right decision Muhammad, I'm so happy for you that you decide to leave Islam And you agree yes. you agreed that this religion is a cult. It's a stupid cult uh, But now I have a I have a new topic to talk about Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to invite you to believe in Jesus But I want to invite we, you to believe in Jesus as your Savior, as your Lord. You know, I I also have studied about Jesus. You know, okay. I like I like his teachings about love and love each other. You know, love your enemy. Wonderful. But I I still confuse. Uh, the Christian said that Jesus is God. You know. Yeah, he's God. Why not? So see? who is who is the father? Okay, you see, this is the, let me make it simple for you. Uh, if Jesus is God, so who is the father? And then the Christian will say to you, the, the father is God. So does that mean we have two gods? No. God is a three person. You know, do you know what the word almighty mean, right? Almighty. Yeah. What almighty mean? Almighty can do whatever he want. Okay. So if almighty cannot be three person, but yet he is one, how he can be almighty? The Almighty he says to us, I am one, but in three person. And I will make it simple for you. Do you drink water every day? Uh -huh. Do you drink water every day? Yes. Okay, but isn't it water three, but it's one in the same time? Yeah. So how it's, we... It's two O, you know. Okay, it's two O. So how we, how we reject that one can be three in the same time? That's because of our ignorance. So if this is, can happen to water, what about God? If water can do that, how God cannot? So the Muslim, they question the ability of God or are questioning how this is happening. If they are questioning the ability, that means Muslims are disbelievers and they are kuffar and they don't believe in God Almighty. If they are questioning how this can happen, that means they are questioning the ability that he cannot be. And that means they are kuffar too. For God, he can be as he wish, not as you wish. It's not you who design how God is. So when we say that Jesus is the son of God, we are not talking about God getting married and have a, a wife and have a baby. No, we are talking about God in a three person. This God, he presents himself as one God, but yet he is a three person. God the Father in heaven. God the Son who came to this earth in the flesh of a man and the Spirit of God. And actually, we can see that around us, even for us as a human, isn't it you as a one person, but yet you have a flesh and you have a soul? Yeah. If we separate the soul from the flesh, what will happen? We will have a dead man, correct? Yep. Yeah. So you yourself is a unification of two, but you are one. Okay, so when we say the word one, what does that mean exactly? Is that a number or unification? When it's come to a living being, it is obviously a unification. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying, uh, Muhammad? Yeah, yeah, I am one, you are one, but I am a soul, I am a flesh, and one day I was a word too, because God, you know, He uh, by His power. He created me. Okay. So, so the power of God. Uh, let, 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 let's let us let us uh, let us make a little a, a drawing in the screen, so you can look with me in the screen. <clears throat> Where is life is coming from? It's coming from God, right? Yes. Okay. So here in the in the screen, we will uh, resemble the the first thing as the power. Let us see here. 
let us say that this is the first one is the power of God not God this is the power of God and then God he create you as a soul and as a flesh correct yeah so when we are created what God he did he gave life to the flesh and that made the flesh and the life which is the soul the spirit one correct yeah but they are two this is number one and this is number two so the two became one and those two both of them is coming from the power of God which make number three so even the creation of a normal creature like you and me contain three power of God creating life life attached to a physical material and make you a living creature you understand me yeah, yeah, yeah. so every creation of a living being contain the power of God resemble number three that is the fingerprint of God like you see when a when an artist he make a paint everybody knows that this is his paint because he have his own style Sign of a creation signature right? signature nature but this is a style yeah. of a creation not not a signature by moving your hand it's a style of a creation yeah so the style of a creation even there's something it's called the golden ratio you, you heard of it golden ratio yeah all the beautiful things all of it is based on a golden ratio why because the creator is one the style of a creation one a creator so when they say to you how he can be three yet he is one they are saying that God he cannot be God because he cannot be three and one in the same time but the fact all of us we witness the number three everything in our life what we need every day we need the sunlight we need the air, we need the water. If one of them okay, disappear, I, get, I we die. get it, I get it. Right? If one of them disappear, we die as a human, correct? Yeah. That's that is number three around you. Everything around you says number three. Everything around you. So why in the Bible Jesus said that he only uh sent to the Israel? No, he because he's born of the Israeli first, but then he said I've been sent to my people and my people reject me and I have shepherd I have sheep in, in, in uh, out of Israel so this is why the Bible says my friend for God he loved the world he sent his only begotten son to save them the whole world not the Israeli only but he is born of Israel and the Israeli rejected him but as you see Jesus he said go and teach and preach the whole world all the world and actually the first people who they are called the Christians after the disciple was people of the city of Antioch so not as right Jews sorry are the uh, the Antioch people Antioch they are Jew? from Syria Antioch it used to be part of Syria at that time so the city of Antioch is the first city who accepted Jesus as Savior and they are not uh. Jews but the disciple of Jesus, they were Jews. Okay. So why the Trinity is confusing? It's not. The Trinity actually is very simple and very convincing. For we see it everything around us. Like, okay, let me ask you, Muhammad, with my respect, your family. You're, you're, you have a father and you have a mother, right? Yes. Okay. If we don't have a father, if we don't have a father, let us say, uh, I wish I have a better way to draw <clears throat> if we don't have a father and we don't have a mother we will not have a child is that correct sorry sorry if we don't have a father father yeah, yeah. we say the letter F father yeah and mother mm -hmm. can we have a child 
No, right? No. Okay. So God, he made the secret creation of life by three. Do you agree with me? Mother. Father, mother, and child. No. Mother. Uh. And father. And then we have a recreation. A child, a child. baby. Yeah. Why it is number three? Isn't it possible that God he can make the man maybe have sex with two women and the two women they will carry one child? He can maybe, but he choose to make it as one man, one woman, and they will have a child. So the family, the structure of the family in the whole earth is based on number three, which means our very basic existence based on number three. So how we can question if Trinity is exist? Okay. So Muhammad, do you accept Jesus as your savior, my friend? Uh, oh, can I ask something? Sure. Don't don't accept unless you accept for real. Don't we don't do what Muslims do? Shahada, blah blah blah. We don't do that. I want you to believe from your heart. Okay. Then why why God uh, sent Jesus to sacrifice to to redeem our sin? You know. Okay. Just to explain that to you. It's not about Jesus. He have to sacrifice to redeem our sin. You see, sometimes the Christians, when they explain themselves, they do it in the wrong way because they assume the other person he he, he like he he have the same background. But I will explain to you. You are a person who is a man of a house. You love your house. Okay. You love your family, correct? Yes. Okay. And your family, there's a fire is going to come and eat them, and you can see the future that this will happen. Are you willing to jump in the fire to stop the fire so you can save your family or you are not? I will. That is Jesus. Jesus is not really just sacrificing himself to redeem our sin. Jesus is saving us by giving his life for he loves us very much to the point He's not making a speech, follow me, listen to me, believe me, accept me. No. To the point he loves us, he practiced what he said. I lay down myself, nobody can take it from me. He knew what they would do to him. He see the future, yet he is not a coward to run away from death. First of all, death cannot take him and grave cannot contain him. He is the power of God. He's God. So Jesus, he proved to us, that love is extremely powerful and by the love of Christ we can overcome death death is coming it's a must to you to me we are talking now but we are dead you know that but by Jesus we are going to live again so what Jesus did not only he sacrificed himself he proved to us that I can overcome death and I'm not making a speech I will go there and I will come back to you and he did even the disciples, when they saw him, they said, show us your hands, because they could not believe it. How a person who was crucified, killed in the front of their eyes, he is coming back from death. This is impossible. So Jesus' crucifixion is not only about he trying to save us, because the point is, when Jesus died, and Jesus did the miracles, and Jesus, he come to this earth, is just to save us. It's not to sacrifice himself. This is not the point. The point is to save us. Sacrificing it was, or giving himself his his, his, his uh, uh, everything about himself, it just to show us how much he loves us. So when people reject Jesus, what he gave, including the crucifixion, they are rejecting salvation. So Jesus, when he's when we say Christians, the Jesus he paid for our sin because we are sinners, and we don't deserve to go to heaven anyway. And then doesn't matter really what we do. We are, you know, we are like the same as a glass, have a cracks, you know, the cracks in the glass. You cannot fix it. You can put a glue, you can put a tape, right? But the, yes. the crack is there. The sin is there. So what Jesus is giving us is a chance that not only I will fix your cracks, I will give you a new creation. 
And today we were talking about Jesus making the, the water into wine. And I said from the beginning, this miracle is not only about wine and making wine, it's about Jesus transforming the nature of the water to the nature of a wine, which means Jesus can change your nature. He can change your structures. He can make you a new creation and new living being. That is Jesus, my friend. So when I say to you that Jesus, he did this, even some Christians, they don't explain. They just say, Jesus, he paid for our sin, which I believe this is a, you know, it's true, but it's not a very accurate to explain for someone he don't know much about Islam or about Christianity, I mean. So we have to be careful as a Christian when we speak to non-Christian non, non because they don't have the same background. And this is what happened to our friend here. So my friend, the salvation is by accepting Jesus, everything Jesus did. And Jesus being crucified because a human being is ugly, not because Jesus, he liked to be crucified, because a human being is a criminal, not because Jesus, he liked to be in the cross or to put nails in his hands. But Jesus, even in the cross, he says, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. They do not know what? What they are doing. And here you see how amazing the Messiah is because the Messiah, by saying such a statement, he proved to us that he is not a speech man like Muhammad who says something and he do something in the, in, in the background. Muhammad, he did say always something like, stay away from your wives when they have their menstruation and the second day he is having sex with Aisha or thundering her. Jesus, when he say, forgive your enemy, they ask him how to pray, Jesus. Hey, Lord, how to pray? He says, say like this, our Father out of heaven. And right away he says, and forgive to us the same as we forgive to others. And in the cross, Jesus, he practiced what he taught us to practice. He said, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. And how I can after this to reject Jesus the Christ. Absolute love. Imagine, Muhammad, somebody putting nails in your hands, putting nails in your, your feet, crucifying you, making fun of you. And what you are worried? You are worried about them going to hell. Saying, forgive them, Father. They don't know. Do you see how much love is there? If it's me and you in the cross, we will be cursing them. We will be maybe speaking bad language. We will be like, like, come on, they are killing me. He was not. He was worried about them. That is the Messiah, my friend. This is why when we say, if there is a better than Jesus, give me his name. I will follow him. But there is no better. Yeah. What do you think? Okay. You accept Jesus as your savior? Yeah, I accept. I mean to that, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we have our brother Muhammad, he called me from Indonesia today to correct me, to prove me wrong. And now he joined the family of a Christ and he is saved. I'm so happy for you, Muhammad. I'm very happy for you. I pray Thank and you. I ask all the Christians, we have almost 2,000 people watching. I ask all the Christians to pray for Muhammad and his family. His family are Muslims, but pray for them. We love the Muslims. We love his family. We love his town. We love his country. We love all the Muslims. They need the Savior, the Savior, the one Savior. The Savior is not a Christian prince. I am a sinner. I'm no one. The one who saved you today, my friend, is not Christian Prince. The one who saved you is Jesus the Christ. By him, you are saved. Thank you. Happy for you, Muhammad. Anything you want to say for those people who are listening? They are so happy. Look how many people are happy for you. I think I will learn more about Bible and I will persuade my parents to maybe someday they, they will call you. No problem. Uh, is it possible? Sure. I will be happy to talk to them. I will be honored to talk to them, my friend. I'm here a servant. I'm not a master. I'm a servant. Jesus yeah. the Christ, my friend, he washed the feet of his followers, and he is the Lord. Who am I? I'm no one. 
Yes. I will be happy to sorry. help you and to yeah. help your family. Sorry, I deferred your topic. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, you made me happy. Look, look how, look, look how happy. I'm sure there's some Christians are crying for you now. You see, you made us happy because this is what we are here for. I'm not here to argue. I'm not here to fight with people. I'm not here to give myself a headache, lose my voice. I'm here to save people, my friend. The Lord, He using me to save people, which means He is at the end. He is the one who's saving you. So I'm here to serve. I'm not here to. Don't worry. Don't be sorry. Actually. This is this is your best day in your life. This is a new day in your life. Today you are a new creation with the Messiah. You are a new person. The old Muhammad is gone. Okay. So uh, maybe you uh, would suggest me where church I which church I can go. I, I advise you, I don't know really any churches in Indonesia to say to you where to go, where not to go. But any church teaching love to others, teaching that Jesus is always about love, teaching the truth as it's written in the Bible, not adding things which is not there. This is a church you go to. So you take the Bible with you, the four gospel, you know, get a copy. Go to a church, any of your choice. Any church who believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The crucifixion of Jesus, the coming back of Jesus, that He is the only Savior. Any church who believe that there's no one and no name can save you except Him. Any church who believe that a human being should love every human being, including those who they are called enemy, as Jesus said, for God is love, love your enemy. Any church who teach you to be decent, truthful, loving to your family and your wife and to your community, and not to hurt anyone. That is a church of Christ, my friend. Anything else is false. So the guidance is very simple. Church who believe in the Trinity is a Christian. Church who believe in love are Christians. Church who believe that there's no savior is but the Christ is a Christian. You know the rest. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I I want to say thank you to my friend who recommended the. Uh, recommended you and actually I first I I saw uh, your video from uh, from channel that translating your videos you know okay uh, so my friend recommended me and I I am watching you for, for three days you know that's wonderful. Muhammad. Yeah, I, I want to say thank you for for my friend and actually, uh, especially I want to say thank you for for you uh, for opening my eyes. Uh, don't thank me. I just say told you. Don't thank me. I'm here. Actually, if you thank me, you will force me to hang up on you. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I just told you, my friend. Yeah. Nothing. It's the one. Say in your heart, thank you, Christ, for saving me. It's not a Christian prince. Christian prince. He need Christ to save him. He cannot save you. Christian Prince cannot save anyone, my friend. I cannot. Okay. The one who saved you, my friend, is a Christ. Christian Prince did nothing to you. All what I did, I shared the knowledge with the Lord. He blessed me to have it. We will share it with you. And the rest okay. is, is you, between you and the Lord. So the Lord, he touched you today. The Lord, trust me, because no knowledge can open your eyes unless the Lord himself, he blessed you today. And he decide that this person, he's decent. He can read your heart. And he decided that this is the person I'm going to take to me today. So because of your decency, because your heart is clean, because you are good, you join the good. Yeah. So uh, thank you, Christian Prince. Uh, I hope many Indonesian will also hurt you and call, maybe can call you later. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Muhammad. Thank you. Thank you. Take care yeah. and God bless you, my friend. We'll pray. Yeah, for take you. care. Okay. Bye bye. Do you remember how many times I said that those who repost the videos they will receive a blessing from the Lord? Whoever that person who copy my videos and he adds subtitle in the Indonesian language, he receive a blessing from the Lord today, because as you see, they watch the video there. Even though it's not you who made, who is not talking, 
but you are the one who posted it. You just repost it and add some subtitle, which is really a very hard job, by the way, to add subtitle. It's not easy. But, I mean, you do not know who you save who by, by some act you do, and that will be considered a fruit for you in the day of judgment. What the Messiah said, from their fruits, you shall know them. This person, he just watched the videos for three days in the row, and he decided to call me, to prove me wrong, and the Lord, he saved him. So we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, our Savior. A glory to you and a glory to no man, no Christian prince, no one. I am the sinner. I, don't, I am not worthy of a glory. We are happy for our friend. We are happy for his family. I hope soon. You know, if you remember, I said to him, okay, if the whole family in dark, are we going to stay in dark? Or, or you like to be the candle in the house? You will be the first one who turned the light on. And today, we have a new light in the house of our brother Muhammad. The light of Christ is going to shine in that house and his family, we pray. They are going to come back and believe in the true Lord, not the false prophet who have nothing in his head except women and money and gold and silver even his heaven is a gucci mall his nike shoes his socks and clothes made of silk he is trying to tempt me with what this is the devil the devil he tempt you with material the devil is the one who speak to you the language of the billy and down God, he speak by spirit. And his spirit is holy. He will not be tempting me by women who I can see through the marrow of their bones. That is not God. I want to say thank you for all people that are here. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm not going to stay longer. So those who download the video, it became so long, they can add subtitle and share it with the Indonesian people and to make their job easier my love to everybody my love to indonesian indian bangladesh all the world we love you we love all the muslims pray for them don't curse them they do not need your curse they have enough pain in their lives trust me they have enough disasters in their life muhammad he did not bring any good to them they need the messiah they need your love they need your prayer not the opposite I pray that more and more Indonesian, the biggest Islamic country in the world, will leave Islam and will accept the true Lord, the true God, and the Holy Spirit will guide them to the truth. May the Lord bless you, and until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, and Islam is false. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.